According to the American Society for Nutrition, the renal diet is commonly recommended for those with late stages of chronic kidney disease and end-stage kidney disease. Many patients with these kidney conditions are undergoing renal replacement therapy, also called hemodialysis, but additionally they require dietary changes in order to avoid the potentially serious complications. A renal diet is actually a point of controversy since there's a number of renal dietary restrictions that are now being questioned. While the renal diet has been used for many years to reduce complications among people with kidney disease, the diet is restrictive and not without criticism. There's a growing concern that the renal diet restrictions limit the intake of important micronutrients, polyphenols and dietary fibre. Since many foods that need to be reduced or avoided are good sources of these essential nutrients, for example, a traditional renal diet involves the avoidance or limitation of food groups, including fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, beans and nuts. And recent research shows this can increase the risk of other health problems tied overall to the low nutrient intake. Some practitioners now feel the kidney disease diet is not only too restrictive, hard to prescribe and difficult for patients to follow, but it's also counterproductive. Therefore, alternative diets like the Mediterranean diet or the DASH diet are now recommended as better approaches for managing kidney disease. Unfortunately, there's no permanent treatment or cure for kidney failure, only strategies to keep someone with kidney disease as stable and healthy as possible. One of these strategies is following a kidney disease diet that limits the intake of certain nutrients in order to cut down on the amount of waste in their blood. That's because the kidneys are needed to properly balance the ratios of water, salt and other minerals called electrolytes in the blood. Therefore, kidney dysfunction can lead to an abnormal mineral level. A renal diet eating plan, also called a kidney disease diet, is one that restricts sodium, potassium and phosphorus intake, since people with kidney disease and kidney issues need to monitor how much of these nutrients they can consume. These three micronutrients can accumulate in the blood and they can contribute to problems like high blood pressure, swelling and fluid retention, heart arrhythmias, bone disorders and vascular calcifications. Based on recent research findings, some experts worry that by prescribing the traditional renal diet, this encourages the patient to eat a western type diet, instead which is high in red meat, packaged products made with lots of preservatives and additives, and foods made with refined grains and sugars. A newer approach that's now being studied and encouraged for patients with kidney issues is the Mediterranean diet. For example, the European Renal Association, European Dialysis and Transplantation Association, now recommends a Mediterranean diet eating pattern rather than a traditional renal diet, because it includes more nutrient-dense foods. It has a wider variety of vegetables and legumes, and it's more flexible. Certain studies have also found benefits from plant-based diets that limit protein and sodium among people with chronic kidney disease. Kidney failure occurs when the kidneys stop working well enough to keep someone alive. This condition is characterised as a sudden loss of the ability of the kidneys to excrete waste, to concentrate urine, conserve electrolytes and maintain the fluid balance. Acute kidney injury, also called acute renal kidney failure, is the term commonly used to describe patients whose kidneys suddenly stop functioning as they normally should. Chronic kidney disease, also called chronic kidney failure, describes the gradual loss of normal, healthy kidney function. Some patients with kidney issues or even kidney disease won't experience any obvious symptoms. However, if sudden failure of the kidneys occurs, this quickly becomes an emergency situation as the symptoms progress quickly. Kidney disease symptoms tend to worsen with time and these can begin with nausea, vomiting and loss of appetite, fatigue and weakness, sleep problems, swelling, changes in how much you urinate, muscle twitches and cramps, chest pain, shortness of breath and high blood pressure. 
Kidney failure symptoms normally include kidney pain, which feels like throbbing or tenderness below the ribcage or in the back, abdomen, sometimes called flank pain, producing less urine than usual or sometimes not at all. A warning sign of kidney disease, however, may be frequent urination, sometimes with blood or other colour changes. Fluid retention and swelling due to the imbalance of electrolytes, especially in the lower extremities, such as the legs, ankles or feet. The face and the eyes can also appear puffy and swollen. Indigestion, nausea, loss of appetite and sometimes vomiting. High blood pressure. Cognitive and mood changes, mostly due to the shifting electrolyte levels and dehydration. This can include confusion, trouble sleeping, anxiety, fatigue, trouble concentrating, weakness and brain fog. Some of the risk factors are having a history of diabetes, anemia, high blood pressure, heart disease or heart failure. Consuming an unhealthy diet. Being overweight or obese. Being an older adult. Having a history of prostate disease, liver damage or liver disease. Experiencing trauma or an injury to the kidneys that causes a sudden blood loss. Having low immune function due to another illness. Being treated in a hospital or intensive care unit, such as having surgery or undergoing an organ bone marrow transplant. Taking medication that can sometimes lead to kidney problems, such as antibiotics, painkillers blood pressure drugs or ACE inhibitors. In rare cases, kidney disease can be caused by a kidney infection, a type of urinary tract infection that can be triggered by bacteria or a virus. It often begins in the urethra or the bladder and then travels to one or more of the kidneys. If a kidney infection develops, the symptoms can include fever, back and side pain, frequent urination, nausea and blood in the urine. In the US, about 13% of the adult population has some sort of kidney disease, and this number is expected to rise with the growing elderly population. Chronic kidney disease is a major risk factor for kidney failure. Experts report there's five primary complications associated with the chronic kidney disease. Anemia, hyperlipidemia, poor nutrition, cardiovascular disease, and osteodystrophy, the abnormal growth of bone mass associated with disturbances in calcium and phosphorus metabolism. Dialysis is one treatment option for those with kidney failure and this is needed when a patient has only 10 to 15 percent of the normal kidney function. The United States Renal Data System estimates 382,000 patients with end-stage kidney disease are currently receiving some form of dialysis. Many dialysis patients have food restrictions related to other health problems such as diabetes or anemia. Acute kidney failure is a serious condition. If a patient ends up in intensive care due to acute kidney failure, studies show the chance of mortality is between 50 to 80 percent. Kidney stones are a prevalent health problem. It's estimated one in ten people will deal with a painful kidney stone at one point in their lives. Kidney stone symptoms include pain in the back or side part of the body, nausea or vomiting, fever, blood in the urine and or frequent urination and sweating. The main cause of kidney stones include eating a poor diet, especially one that's high in oxalates taking synthetic calcium supplements, genetic factors, food allergies or sensitivities, electrolyte imbalances, obesity and medication or drug use. If you intend to follow a healthy renal diet, the first step to take is to stock your kitchen with the right foods. You'll need to educate yourself on renal diet restrictions and be careful to avoid foods that contribute to too much sodium, potassium and phosphorus in your diet. In recent years, advice about the best diet for people with kidney disease has started shifting. A 2017 study published in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology found healthy dietary patterns, as opposed to a traditional renal diet, were associated with lower mortality in people with kidney disease. Healthy eating patterns refer to diets 
that included fruit and vegetables, fish, legumes, whole grains and high fibre foods, while also limiting red meat, sodium and refined sugar intake. This finding is noteworthy because it goes against the traditional renal diet guidelines that were recommended in the past. Recent findings from the Diet HD multinational cohort study that included over 8,000 hemodialysis patients also showed a high adherence to the Mediterranean or DASH diet was not associated with reduced cardiovascular mortality or all-cause mortality and it actually helped to reduce the mortality risk. A variety of vegetables including leafy greens, raw veggies and cooked veggies. Beets, beet juice, greens like spinach, tomatoes, purple potatoes, seaweeds and celery are some of the best choices. However, be aware, depending on the severity of your condition, your doctor might advise you to avoid certain vegetables and fruits that are high in potassium, for example, avocado, cantaloupe, honeydew melons, bananas, oranges, fruit juices, tomatoes and beans. A variety of fruits, especially those high in antioxidants, like cranberries, black cherries and blueberries. These dark superfruits are nutrient dense and they might help to fight kidney infections. Drinking cranberry concentrate is another option. Consuming lemon and lime juice is also helpful for its cleansing effects. Based on the latest research, here are the renal diet foods you should eat. 100% whole grain. Although fortified grains may contribute too many minerals to your diet, so they should be avoided. Organic milk, dairy products, including yogurt, kefir and aged cheeses. Grass-fed, quality meats, poultry and fish. Protein powder, such as collagen powder or protein powder made from bone broth. Eggs. Nuts, seeds and legumes, four to five servings per week. Healthy fats and oils, including coconut oil, olive oil, grass-fed butter and ghee. Foods shown to help lower blood pressure, including pomegranate juice, greens, coriander, beetroot juice, dark chocolate, flaxseed, sesame oil and hibiscus tea. Fresh herbs and spices, like oregano, turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, parsley and rosemary. Also be sure to drink enough water and hydrating fluids, including herbal tea, sparkling water or fruit infused water. The foods to avoid, kosher salt, sea salt and other flavoured salts such as garlic salt, onion salt or seasoned salt. Processed meats, including cold cuts, ham, bacon, sausage, hot dogs, lunch meat, chicken, tenders or nuggets. Many refrigerated or frozen meats that are packed in a solution that's high in sodium, such as chicken breasts, pork chops, pork tenderloin, steaks or burgers. Most canned soups and frozen meals, which are high in sodium. Packaged instant rice. Many condiments, including mustard, relish and soy sauce. Refined oils like soybean, safflower and sunflower oil. Beer and soda. A traditional renal diet limited the intake of high potassium foods, although there's now some controversy over whether this is necessary and beneficial. Potassium is found mainly in fruits, vegetables, dairy products, milk and meat. It's best to discuss with your doctor if you can still tolerate potassium-rich foods, including cantaloupe, honeydew, bananas, oranges, fruit juices, tomatoes, beans, pumpkins, winter squash, potatoes, bran cereal and greens like collard, spinach, kale and Swiss chard. These are very healthy foods normally, so if possible you want to keep them in your diet. Potatoes and sweet potatoes contain a good amount of potassium, but they can usually be eaten in small amounts especially if you peel them and cook them thoroughly. Your doctor might recommend avoiding certain foods that are high in oxalic acid like spinach, rhubarb, tomatoes, collards, eggplant, beets, celery, summer squash, sweet potatoes, peanuts, almonds, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, parsley and cocoa. 
to avoid consuming too much phosphorus and potassium, limit the intake of milk and dairy to one cup per day. To avoid getting too much phosphorus, limit dried beans, greens, broccoli, mushroom and Brussels sprouts to one cup per day. High phosphorus foods that you should consume in small amounts include lima, black, red, white kidney beans and garbanzo beans. Most grains, chocolate, dried vegetables, fruits and sodas. Avoid having more than one cup of bran, wheat cereals, oatmeal or granola daily, which tend to be fortified. Although this approach alone isn't enough to manage kidney disease, doing a kidney cleanse is beneficial if you've ever suffered any type of kidney infection. Any type of fluid retention, urinary tract infection or kidney stone symptoms. In order to help to nourish the kidneys, you need to consume herbs, fruits and vegetables that have anti-inflammatory effects. In addition to eating the foods recommended above, three herbs that can benefit the kidneys include stinging nettle, burdock and romania. Stinging nettle is high in vitamin C and it can help to flush extra fluid through the kidneys. Burdock acts as a diuretic and it stimulates the kidneys to get rid of excess fluid, mainly water and sodium. Romania is a traditional Chinese medicinal herb and it's believed to help to cleanse the kidneys. However, if you have chronic kidney disease or a serious issue with fluid retention, you should talk to a doctor before taking any of these supplements or making changes in your diet. An overview of the renal diet guidelines. Limit or monitor your intake of foods with sodium, potassium and phosphorus. Try to cook at home more and avoid eating out as these foods are typically high in sodium and salt. Don't add salt when cooking food. An overview of the renal diet guidelines. Limit or monitor your intake of foods with sodium, potassium and phosphorus. Try to cook at home more and avoid eating out as these foods are typically high in sodium and salt. Don't add salt when cooking food. Avoid high sodium foods, mainly packaged foods. Be careful reading labels. Skip any food that has more than 300 milligrams of sodium per serving. A good rule of thumb is to avoid foods that have salt in the first four or five items in the ingredient list. Instead, look for lower salt or no salt options. To help to manage blood sugar levels, eat balanced meals. This includes a source of protein, healthy fat and complex carbohydrates. To avoid getting too much of one mineral, eat a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. This provides you with nutrients without overloading how much potassium you're consuming. To make meals taste better without adding salt, add herbs and spices like black pepper, red pepper flakes, cumin, chilli powder, garlic and onion, dried oregano, smoked paprika, fresh calantro, fresh basil, fresh scallions, lemon and lime zest and rosemary. Limit milk to one cup per day or one serving of yoghurt or one ounce of cheese. Stick to whole foods since packaged foods commonly contain phosphate additives. Talk to your doctor about whether you need to limit the protein intake since this depends on the specific patient. In the early stages of chronic kidney disease, you might need to limit the amount of protein that you eat. If you need to start dialysis treatments, you might have to eat more protein than before. You should also speak to your doctor about how much fluids you should be consuming, since some patients need to decrease fluid intake and others need to increase it. Remember, a number of factors influence the best type of kidney diet that someone can follow, including the stage of their renal disease, the type of treatment they're on, and the presence of other medical conditions. Even though a healthy diet, similar to the DASH diet or Mediterranean diet, has been shown to slow the progression of kidney disease and other diseases like heart disease, some patients will still need to follow a special diet that's more restrictive. To be safe, always speak to your doctor before changing your diet, especially if you have chronic kidney disease. You should work with a dietitian to make sure that you're managing your nutrient intake carefully. 
The renal diet or kidney disease diet is intended to help prevent complications in people with chronic kidney disease or kidney failure. Kidney failure occurs when the kidneys are unable to filter the blood, leaving behind waste and excess fluid. The risk factors include a history of kidney problems, being obese, eating an unhealthy diet or having diabetes, heart disease, anemia and bone metabolism problems. The renal diet or kidney disease diet is intended to help prevent complications in people with chronic kidney disease or kidney failure. Kidney failure occurs when the kidneys are unable to filter the blood, leaving behind waste and excess fluid. The risk factors include a history of kidney problems, being obese, eating an unhealthy diet or having diabetes, heart disease, anemia and bone metabolism problems. A traditional renal diet, limited foods like vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans and legumes in order to control the mineral intake. The goal of the diet is to limit the consumption of sodium, potassium and phosphorus since the kidneys are needed to function.